I'm Shep Bryan with Maximum Security. We've been in business here in Santa Ana for 25 years and we've sold a lot of safes. Floor safes used to be the most popular type of safe that people would buy for their homes because out of sight, out of mind. The feeling is that if you can't see the safe, then it's secure. And generally speaking, that's right. Um, disadvantage with floor safes is they're hard to use because they're hard to get to. Um, but they're still a good solution for specific types of valuables that you want to secure. Most important consideration for folks when they're considering a floor safe is what kind of floor are you installing it in? A concrete slab is the best, but you have to make sure that there's no water pipes below the place where you want to install. And if you've got post tension cables or anything else that's securing your concrete slab, you're probably not going to be able to put one in the, in the ground. If you have a raised foundation, the installation of the safe is going to be a little bit more complicated because you need to build something that's going to house the concrete that is going to keep that safe um, fire resistive to a certain degree uh, from a home fire. Many um, places in the country have groundwater. I, want, I need to protect the safe from that water and so you should make sure that you've got a thick plastic bag that the safe can go into when it's installed into the ground to keep the table water from getting to the safe. A proper installation is going to require between three and five inches of concrete around the safe to keep it secure but also protected from that water. Generally speaking, floor safes um, are not too very big, so um, what you're going to be able to put into your floor safe is limited as far as the amount of space is concerned. There are a wide variety from less than a, a cubic foot of storage to one that we've got in our store that's three feet wide and a foot and a half deep really quite large. Floor safes do not have a fire rating, but if they're installed correctly uh, with heat rising and the safe buried in the floor, you're going to get some reasonable floor protection. Understand though that when the fire department comes and starts hosing down your house, water can get into that safe. And so you may need to protect the contents with another uh, Ziploc bag or something like that. Final word on this is that because floor safes are in the floor, you need to be agile and fit enough to be able to get down on your hands and knees to get to the safe, put things away, and take things out. Our experience after 25 years is there are a lot of middle-aged folks and older folks who just can't do that anymore. So it may not be the best solution for you. You should come in and talk to us and find out what is the best safe for your applications.